Hey everyone, I am Sapna from Sapna Master Isles and I have various WhatsApp groups which are um, masterclass.isles and masterclass isles. So you can join them and you can enjoy, you can uh, enjoy the latest material of reading, listening, even I upload it on uh, YouTube. You can contact for um, online classes as well as you can contact for writing evaluation. So what I am here today, why I'm here today. The first thing which I would like to tell you that how to make the complex sentences because this is quite important when you are talking about a complex sentence, why? So because uh, in writing task two, in writing task one, we have to use the complex sentences, but the students, they have some kind of fear. They exam jitters, right? They have this kind of fear also like, how to write a complex sentence, how to change a simple sentence into a complex one. So we'll try to write it down today, how to complete that. Uh, so let's begin. Now, first of all, I would like to ask you, what is a complex sentence? What is a complex sentence? If anybody can define. A complex sentence is a sentence joining the two sentences. It, it has two ideas. Um, he is poor. He cannot buy the books. Because he is poor, he cannot buy the books. As he is poor, he cannot buy the books. So there are two things. I have joined it with a connector that is called uh, complex sentence. Suppose the question in front of you is the number of young people under 14 is projected to go down while the number of people aged 60 plus will nearly double during the same period. Now, this sentence contains two ideas. The number of people will go down. And the second is the number of 60 plus will double during the period, in the same period. So what we have done is we have joined it together and we did the connector like while, and then I made it into the complex sentence. So in this way, you can join that, right? If we talk about things, why do I need to make complex sentences? See, if uh, if you have a look at the grammar criteria for scoring six bands and seven bands, so what you'll find, you'll find uses a mix of simple and the complex forms. It means you are using the simple sentence, you are using the complex structure, and there is a variation. You cannot just talk about the complex sentences all the time using connectors, so many connectors. At the same time, you cannot just use the simple word here in case of band seven uses a variety as i was talking about uses a variety of complex structures uses uh, the producer the frequent error free sentences error free sentences where you are grammatically correct and you are using those sentences without any grammatical mistake so if i give you a suggestion if i give you an advice so how will you do it only use grammar and vocabulary that you're familiar with it's simple. It's not like you have to use fancy words. You have to use very heavy words, which uh, you don't even know the meaning and also where to use it, whether they are using aptly, whether they are using appropriately. So don't use it. Don't try to include more than three ideas in one sentence unless you are confident about doing this. Because if you use three or four ideas in one sentence and you are combining it, it becomes very lengthy. And then there will be a problem because you don't understand the meaning of it. Don't make every sentence in a paragraph complex. Obviously, an excellent paragraph should have a mix of, blend of, mixture of simple as well as the complex ones. Means if I am using one simple sentence, the other could be the complex one and it can change. Then if uh, the next thing, the first example, which I would say how to give, how to write a complex sentence, the first part would be make comparisons. How to compare? The sentence is, suppose the question. Now, I have uh, used the bold words, which are used as the connectors, which are changing the simple one into the complex one. This sentence is slightly more complex because I'm comparing. So I have used more complex than the previous one. Again. If I want to change it, I have various ways to write it down. 
this sentence is far more complex than any of the sentences that I have used before. So this is called cohesiveness, cohesion, cohesion and coherence, where you connected with the past also. This sentence is twice as complex as the previous one because it compares two things. I have used three connectors here twice as and because. And next is the more variety you use, the higher your score will be. So I have again used two words here, which make them a very good example because I'm comparing simple and complex sentence. So I have written the sentences according to those. If we go move to the next slide, we have, if you want to make contrast. So what will you do? Some people argue that zoos are educational, whereas Others are of the opinion that keeping animals in cages is cruel. So if you say zoos are educational, whereas, so I have used whereas as a linker, as a discourse marker, which can be used as a cohesive device and you will get more bands as compared to the simple structure. Sales of eBooks have increased dramatically while sales of paper books have plummeted, means fell down. So sales of ebooks have increased dramatically while in the previous sentence I had used whereas in this sentence I have used while. So in this case, you will get an upper edge of that. Proponents of GM food claim that it will eradicate famine. However, others believe it threatens the food chains. So however is the word which will help you to contrast, to compare the two things. So in the earlier slide, you saw how to compare, which is far more better. And in this case, you have used the contrasting words. The, the, those are whereas, while, and however. In the next slide, you will see that how to give reasons. In this case, the climate is changing because of. So I have used a because of. And I have used a noun. Noun is a human activity. So I can write the sentence according to that. In another word, the planet is warming. Because of is also said like due to the fact that. So due to the fact plus the whole sentence. I'm not using human activity or a noun here. I have changed it. The planet is warming due to the fact that we continue to release the carbon into the air by burning fossil fuels for energy. So in this case, you have used due to the fact plus a complete sentence. So due to the fact is a word which is connecting the two sentences here. The next thing is, as there are few affordable alternatives, this situation will only get worse. Since there are few affordable alternatives, this situation will only get worse, will only get worse. It means it will get worse and it will imp improve or it will decrease. It will get worse day by day. It means it is exacerbating day by day, right? So I have used as or since in the front in the beginning of the sentence because I am giving reasons for that. And for reasons, we have three connectors which I have shown here. The next thing is if I want to show purpose, the factory was demolished in order to make way for more housing. Because the, why the factory was demolished, why it was uh, broken down, why it was <coughs> fallen in order to, because I am giving a purpose here. This was done. The factory was knocked down so that in order to, so that more houses could be constructed. So I've given the sentences in the different way so that you can understand and how it would be more impressive. Many people argue that keeping old buildings and repairing them is better because by doing this, the character of the town will be preserved. Got it? Coming to the next thing, that will be show concession. What is concession? Although, even though, though, we are aware of the problem. Even though I know that you don't understand, we do little to solve it. I am not aware of the things. Although he was poor, a comma, then you can say he was able to complete his studies. Despite or in spite of the fact that we are aware of the problem, we do little to this. This is subject, verb, and object. 
then despite or in spite of being aware of the problem, we do little to tackle it. It means I am using uh, here about uh, IEG of being, being aware of the problem, right? So the next thing would be despite or in spite of our awareness. So here I have used noun. In the earlier sentence, I had used ing. And in this sentence, I have used noun. Despite or in spite of the awareness of the problem, we do little to address it. So there are different ways to express our views and it will be very good if you use these kind of sentences. I hope this video is surely gonna help you and you can start writing this way. Definitely you are going 7.5 to 8 bands for sure. If I talk about time linkers, in time linkers, I use when and as, and as soon as all these things will come here. When considering a brand or advertising, we need to bear in mind the benefits also. As soon as, as, so these are the words which are used to uh, the time, which are related to the time. I hope this video will gonna help you. If I'm going to emphasize something, I want to add emphasis to my topic. One of the main reasons, one of the major reasons, prime reasons, a fundamental reason why people disagree with zoos is because of. Now, because of is the purpose. One of the main reasons is I'm adding emphasis. I'm putting stress over something. So in this way, it will again improve your level, writing level, and you can go above 7.5. The most powerful argument in favor of and in the same way i have given example for example um for instance to cite an example you can talk like that so when we are talking about uh, time we also think about how to extend the sentences in case of extending the sentences i will have given you the words here like uh, how to complete that suppose uh, Next thing is, I have given my examples here. Simple sentences. He is a very good boy by nature. He can't score well in the exams. He is very lazy student. I have written three sentences here. If you want to change it, though, by nature, he is very good boy. But as he is very lazy, he can't score well in the exams. So this is about uh, simple and complex. How to connect all the sentences in one form that you need to understand. How to use the connector and where to fit in. That is quite important and mandatory. Simple sentences. He was completely tired. He must go to the office today. There is a very important meeting. Now, there is a very important meeting. So, though he was extremely tired, he must go to the office today because... There is a very important meeting. So I have written in the same way. Got it? More examples are here. It was raining heavily. He had to reach his office early. He was carrying very important papers. He would have to submit them in dry condition. He refused to take an umbrella. The papers got wet and damaged. These are so many sentences. So how to change it? He had to reach his office early as he was carrying very important papers, which had to be submitted in the dry condition. But as he refused to take an umbrella, though it was raining heavily, the papers got wet and damaged. In this way, I changed each and everything into the complex one. Try not to repeat it, uh, repeat the connector and the cohesive devices, because that's gonna be very difficult for you. So thank you so much for watching the video. I am sure that you are going to like this video and you will definitely add this in your vocabulary part, in your grammar part as well. Do subscribe to the channel for Sapna Master IELTS and share it to the maximum number of people. I have also my Facebook page, which is masterclass.ils. I have Instagram page, which is also masterclass.ils. And you can contact me on WhatsApp for various WhatsApp groups, online classes and writing evaluation. That will be 7986306731. So all the best, guys. Do well. Prepare accordingly. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.